Hey everyone, it's Genevieve and welcome to this toned upper body workout. You don't need any equipment for this workout. It's great for all levels uh, and great to do anywhere. Uh, actually, you just need a little bit of space around you. So we are doing 45 seconds of work today and we've got a whole bunch of exercises. So we're just going to keep going. There's no breaks in this workout. So take breaks if you need them, but uh, try and stick into that work, modify if necessary and uh, let's have fun. Let's get to it. So our first exercise today is a commando push-up. So commando is where you go all the way to the ground. So you're either on your toes or on your knees, come all the way down, lift up your hands, and then come up either pushing off of the hands onto the knees or onto the toes. So commando push-up. So you're lowering your body all the way to the ground and then pushing back up. Shoulders over top of the wrists here. So choose your level and your straight body line as you push up. So we're not doing the wave here in that torso. You're one straight body line. So you're toned through those glutes. Breathe on the push up. So if you're on your toes, you're lowering all the way down, extend the hands and push up. Okay, we're heading right into our next one, which is a monkey push up. So you can do this from your knees or your toes. You're gonna hop those feet in. Try and get that head all the way between the hands. Monkey push up. Elbows can go out to the side for this one. If this is really, really tough on your neck, then come down onto your knees and you can do a tricep push up here. So tricep push up, the elbows squeeze into the body. So take your option. And the farther, the closer your feet are to your hands, the more difficult this will be. Ugh. So you choose your level, something that you can sustain. We're almost there. We're gonna hop it up, bring it up, coming into shoulder circles going forward. So arms are extended, really engaged through those arms, like you're reaching in opposite directions. Shoulder circles, small, small little circles. My arms are starting to burn. <laughs> After the next interval, we are going into backwards circles. So we're holding those arms out. You will feel this by the end. Woo! Great for the shoulders, building that strength and that definition for it, that aesthetic appeal, if that's what you're going for. You're almost there. Don't forget to breathe. Really squeeze those triceps as well. Use those muscles. Okay, let's go backwards. Here we go. Doesn't have to be complicated. Woo. We're still holding these arms up after this set. We're coming into what's called a flappy bird and I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. <laughs> Woo. I'm feeling those biceps really extend through the fingers. So the arms are not floppy and lazy here. They are moving with intention, building that definition. Draw the core in, in the last 10 seconds here. Woo! Oh yeah. Work it, work it. Okay, let's come into flappy bird. So keep those wrists extended and you're going up and down, pulsating up and down. Woo! This catches up with you quick. Keep it up. Go in as long as you can. And if you must, then take a little break, but come right back in. You're just breaking for a second or two, releasing out that lactic acid. My hands are at shoulder height here, just pulsating up and down. We're coming into push ups after this, hitting that chest and that back. Woo! Oh, this is starting to burn. Keep up. Keep doing the motion. Your mind has no choice but to follow. Woo! Oh, this is gonna feel good. Okay, let's come into our push-ups either on your knees or on your toes. Let's go. Ah, oh, holy shoulders. Let's go. So we're gonna work our back after this because our back is still part of our upper body, our upper back anyway. Coming into Superman's after this. 20 seconds, let's go. Now, if you're on your toes, that's great. Keep it up, straight body line. The gaze is ahead of your hands. 
keep that neck in neutral alignment so you're not looking down like this that's just pouring weight into the shoulders all right bring it on down onto your stomach arms extend out in front of you inhale up and down up and down so you're reaching away with the hands and you're reaching away with the feet inhale down exhale up and feel like extension in the lower body is coming from the inner groins so inner groin squeeze and you're reaching the toes away from you so those legs are active and involved push the hip bones into the ground almost there last five then we're going to hold up the arms and the legs hold it up and you're retracting back reach the arms forward retract it back modification reach it forward retract back come down then lift up retract back come down so you take your option here We're not done with these supermans. We're gonna come into some rotations after this. Oh, I'm sweating. Really squeeze between the shoulder blades and those lats. Draw the shoulders up away from the floor. Slight turn in those glutes. Okay, extend the arms out. And you're coming, rolling side to side. This is a hard one. Working those obliques that back try and keep the legs straight it's like your little boat it's kind of fun actually whatever your definition of fun is I might have a sick corrupt <laughs> definition of fun but nonetheless woo, this is working balance as well right so coordination balance it's all good we're gonna get into those shoulders a little more after this Coming into a dolphin plank hold. We'll wait for that buzzer. Good, come down onto your stomach. Come into a forearm plank here. You can interlace your hands, extend the pinky fingers, walk the feet in. This is called a dolphin plank hold. Dolphin pose. So here, I'm not dumping my head towards the floor. I'm pushing into the elbows drawing the shoulders away from my ears and the elbows are underneath the shoulders here really tilt the tailbone up towards the sky feels good keep it up holding here good bring it down onto your knees here so we're coming into our arms are going to extend back behind us here. I'll show you what it looks like. So we did our arm circles earlier. Now we're just going to push those arms back. Working the front of that shoulder in between those shoulder blades. And feel like you're really resisting. Like you're trying to push your hands through mud or water. So those arms are engaged and intentional. Work it. Tone in that bye-bye arm. Those chicken wings. Good, now bring the hands back behind you so they're down by your side and you're pushing back. Palms face away from you. Squeeze those triceps. You're on your knees here. Woo! Almost there. This feel good? Feels good to get toned and that burn going on without using weights. Yeah. You might feel this tomorrow. <laughs> Last five. Good. Let's come into a side push up. So you're on your forearm here and you can drop your bottom knee and you're lengthening and extending here. So working that right shoulder again. Now, if you want more, you can extend both legs coming down 
low plank hip dip and you're driving weight into that elbow so we got some core going on here as well hip bones point forward yeah we're gonna hit the other side after this okay bring it down quick 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 transition here let's go either on your knee drop the bottom knee if you'd like or keep both legs extended shoulder over top of the elbow yes squeeze the core as you drive the hips up work those arms work that body you've got this you look good feeling good one step closer coming into push-ups after this Woo! good lower it down push-ups let's go from your toes to your knees let's burn it out we're coming back into those planks after this and I'm gonna give you the option to do a high plank or a low plank we're gonna add a rotation in next breathe in on the way down breathe out on the way up push the palms into the floor drive imagine with each rep more muscle fire fibers growing stronger good come into a side plank on the right here coming into rotation so you're reaching the left arm underneath and up so I'm staying high plank here you can go low plank if you'd like go with what version challenges you more Woo. tone oh my gosh my arm is just quaking last 15 this is no joke breathe switching sides after this okay quick 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 let's go there's no break there's no extra time for transition so the longer you take transitioning sides or transitioning moves you're really cheating yourself out of the full length of the exercise well, we're not cheaters no way we put in the effort and that's where the results come we got to manage our minds because really that's the secret right there drive Woo! all right let's come down into a plank plank row so row up with the left push it out row up with the right push it out in front now if you're really wavering side to side I'd like you to hop your feet out wider just to widen that base of support and we're here for two rounds so enjoy this Woo! so you can do this from your knees as well okay right here come on this is our last burnout so you pick how do you want to finish this workout we have worked every morsel of our upper body we've worked core we've worked back it's all part of it our upper body is so much more than our biceps and our triceps and our shoulders so much more than just those two limbs okay we've got time for one more let's come down into our dolphin plank again push the floor away from you 
let the head drop, but don't let it drop to the ground. It's relaxed in between the arms, but it's not slumping down into the floor. You're pushing away. Tilt that tailbone up. Come on, guys. You're almost there. We've got this. Woo! Oh, yeah. Feel the scapula drawing away from each other. Like it's trying to curl in towards the front of the body. Integrating through those shoulders, working those stabilizers. Woo! Bring it down, bring it down. All right, stretch it out into a child's pose and extend those arms out in front of you. Let's just stretch it out quick. Wow, my arms are on fire. Bring the arms over towards the right and really reach, sorry, to the left. Reach the right arm out and away from you, diagonally to the side. And then try and draw the shoulder back into the, to its socket, getting a nice stretch through the lats there. We worked that through all those Supermans. Woo! Inhale back over to center and exhale over towards the right. Reach the left arm away from you and then isometrically draw that shoulder back into its socket. Solid, solid work today, everyone. Good stuff. Inhale back through center. Bring it on up. Let's come into a tricep stretch. So reach the right arm up and behind you and stretch that out from those push-ups. Woo, from those tricep extensions we did. Those work really well. All right, stretch it out into a child's pose and extend those arms out in front of you. Let's just stretch it out quick. Wow, my arms are on fire. Bring the arms over towards the right and really reach, sorry, to the left. Reach the right arm out and away from you, diagonally to the side, and then try and draw the shoulder back into the, to its socket, getting a nice stretch through the lats there. We worked that through all those Supermans. Woo! Inhale back over to center and exhale over towards the right. Reach the left arm away from you, and then isometrically draw that shoulder back into its socket. Solid, solid work today, everyone. Good stuff. Inhale back through center. Bring it on up. Let's come into a tricep stretch. So reach the right arm up and behind you and stretch that out from those push-ups. Woo, from those tricep extensions we did. Those work really well. Now, if you have more mobility, you can swim the left arm up, maybe interlace fingers. This gives a bit of a deeper stretch, but work within your own mobility. You might actually find that you have more mobility because you should be nice and warm by this point. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm up, tricep stretch. So you can use this workout as a warm up to a full length workout, as a portion of a full length workout. Um, you can use it on its own. You could use it as a warm up to a yoga practice. Really, really great to get warmed up through those shoulders before practicing. And you may even find that your mobility and your range of motion will increase after warming up through the upper body. So maybe give that a try. Exhale, release. Let's bring the right arm in front of us. Pull the right shoulder back and you're reaching around and then I've Got my elbow of the left hand over top of the elbow, sorry, underneath the elbow on the right. I draw the right shoulder back. Woo, nice stretch through the side of that delt. Be proud of what you accomplished today. And if this is your full workout, hey, you've done something today. You feel that burn, you know that you've worked. So be very happy about that. Celebrate these small successes. Exhale, release, let's sw switch sides here. Pull the left shoulder back. And I'm squeezing that left arm with my right arm to really extend through that deltoid. Good, exhale, release. Inhale the arms up overhead. Woo, and then come into some circles here, just loosening up through that upper body other way. 
some nice little circles here. Other direction one more time. Good stuff, exhale, release. You are so done. Thank you for joining me. And please drop a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.